Hello from the Navajo Lake trailhead right outside of Telluride. This weekend I am going to be hiking Wilson Peak. For a full hike review of Wilson Peak you can check the link below. So as you can see I am at the uh, trailhead here. Light is fading and I'm trying to get up to Navajo Lake which is about four and three quarter miles by dark. Spoiler, there's no way that's going to happen. Uh, so there's multiple approaches for these mountains. Uh, this is one of them. So here's an excellent view at basically your whole approach. So obviously El Diente is there. Uh, you can't see Mount Wilson, but you traverse over that way. You get a better view on the other side. Uh, and then Navajo Lake, the end goal is to work around that hump right there. And the lake is around the other side and then in there is a huge basin uh, which will lead you up to the rock of ages approach to wilson peak uh, and it's a good kind of central location for all three uh, which is why i chose it for this trip a cool little hidden gem on the way up to navajo lake obviously this is only going to be raging like this in the spring but pretty damn cool side of the hill up there to the basin. Not too sunny right now, pretty miserable. First light, first look at the Navajo Basin. Looking back on the lake back there, this is a good straight on look of the route up to El Diente. So you're gonna start there up the gully into the Calore and then right where the head wall is with the sun shining basically, you're gonna go right to the summit which is up there. If you wanna do the traverse, you go back over, over, and over. I'm not 100% sure where Mount Wilson Summit is right now. If you don't want to do the traverse, you would just come back down this Calore and Gully here. It is highly recommended uh, that you would hike this on stable snow when there is snow. Because if you wait until this gully gets more eaten out, it's going to be really dangerous. So this is kind of a prime time actually. Uh, to climb this because as you can see it's melting out fast all right came up from there and now I'm headed up that way I'm really low on energy right now but uh, I'm really kind of happy with the snow level so far it's pretty low so here's a look at Navajo Basin as the sun rises on El Diente Peak up there finally gained the ridge here you can look down to the Rock of Ages approach this is an alternative way to gain this exact same ridge. You can see the trail right there. I kept calling this little hump Wilson Peak and boy was I wrong. That's Wilson Peak up there. Still got a ways to go. <laughs> uh, but luckily everything looks really dry which is nice because I was a little bit concerned about that. Uh, honestly I've been scoping out the El Diente and the Traverse and I've been psyching myself out and not sure if I'm going to tackle that tomorrow or not. We'll see. Here's a key juncture on the ridge. Now, you want to head up a little bit high, but not too high, because if you go up there too high, you can cliff out. Um, but if you stay too low, the conditions are really loose gravel, loose rock, and not great. So you kind of want to find a happy medium in between here. Um, when you get to this point, you'll see a lot of different trails, so you kind of just have to use the best judgment for you based on the conditions. But just again, be careful. All this loose gravel here and sand is, is all over the place and rocks of all sizes can come loose. So if there are people around you, um, just kind of be careful about that. But your end game is to work straight across here to the little dirt patch. First look at the actual summit of Wilson Peak. You can 
can see the approach down there. Looking back on this section here, you have two options. You can either kind of ascend higher here and cut across, or in the summer, you can have a looser uh, trail to get to basically here. Once you're here, there's not really a trail. There's no Cairns. Uh, it's not a great hike. And then, but anyway, you're gonna follow uh, this basically side of the, the ridge here up to this, uh, the first kind of top of the ridge there and then the false summit right up there. And that's your first, first uh, crux, if you will, of the day. Looking at the uh, steep class three to gain the false summit here. Almost there. All right, here is the final class three section to the summit. Let me get my ax out of the way. As you can see, it's narrow. It's uh, pretty, ex nah, I guess not super exposed, but a little exposed on each side. And uh, as you can see right now, there's no snow, which I am thrilled about because this would have sucked with snow. So have a little pocket there, um, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty snow free, which is nice. Uh, and yeah, the summit, the true summit is right there. It just took me about 15 minutes to get from right here to there. And the reason is it's so variable. The, uh, the rock here is so not reliable. So every grip is like, you don't know if the freaking rock is gonna fall out. So I was just super, super nervous about crossing this. And obviously you don't wanna fall cause you go right down a calor there. But I'm very happy to be standing here on dry ground. And uh, Summit is right up there. This is a good look at the class three scrambling. Uh, again, this rock, you can see it like there's like this gravel but on top of that you know all of these rocks of course none of them like stuff this big it's loose and so you don't want to sell out on anything and i said that in past videos selling out is putting all your weight on one hold or one part of your body because if you slip it's not going to be fun to come down this you might not fall all the way but you're definitely going to get some pretty good cuts from it Welcome to the summit of Wilson motherfucking peak. This one was way harder than it should have been. But it doesn't matter at the top. And now I'm gonna take a nice long water break and eat everything in my bag. Summit of Wilson Peak, 46 down, 12 to go. Give you a quick whirl around here. <clears throat> the trail was dry. Um, basically, to uh, most of the ridge, there's a couple sections that still have snow pockets in them they'll probably be gone honestly within a week maybe less um i, I had a little trouble in some of them but i just try to take my time and you know stab my foots uh my footprints and uh, mountain x grips uh, well <clears throat> this is definitely not a dog friendly hike and the reason i say that is because the rock is so loose that you don't want someone uh getting a rock flung at them by your dog or you you know, your dog getting hurt by someone flung it, flinging a rock. The, the, the gravel, the, the, the talus, the, the boulders, the little rocks, they're all loose. The whole trail, basically from the ridge all the way to here. Uh, don't ever trust any one foothold, handhold. Be very careful with that when you're scrambling that class three uh, that I was showing you earlier. Uh, as far as gear, um, I, I don't think crampons are necessary. Micro spikes in the spring uh, when there's still snow should be suitable. Definitely a mountain axe. 
Uh, helmet is good as well, especially when there's more people here. Right now I'm by myself, so I haven't been wearing one. I'm probably gonna pop it on for the way down though. Um, and again, because there's you know a chance for rocks flying, you just you, you want to have that protection on your head. Um, one note about this trip, I'm pretty bummed. I was going to try to do the traverse over there, uh, and there's this one little section that you have to kind of cross over there, um, and I, I've, I just saw pictures of it from someone who was there yesterday. It just doesn't look like safe to me uh, based on what I have gear-wise, so I'm going to have to come back and do this another time, which is a super big bummer because it's right here and the rest of it looks pretty good, but, um, you know... It's a decision you have to make and uh, you have to just commit to it. Mother Nature is uh, not something to be screwed around with. She's more powerful than you will ever be. So don't ever forget that. Um, this hike was okay. It was definitely not one of my favorites. The views up here are pretty good. Um, but what takes away so much uh, from the hike is the just really crappy trail conditions along the way. Um, so it's just not something that I personally would want to do again, but um, you know, everyone has their own cup of tea. So for a full hike review of Wilson Peak, you can check the link below. Please subscribe to not miss any future hike reviews. And thanks for watching.